All right, so uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, conditional formatting. Um, something to be kind of fun. Uh, just looking at this data here, I'll just show you what you can do is we can color code this automatically based on uh, rules that we set. So I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, all of these and go up here to, uh, I think it's format, and then go down to conditional formatting. So that range that I just uh, chose, I uh, it's already selected, and this is a single color formatting. This says if this uh, uh, applying to this range D4 through D8 format rules format cell if it is not empty and it'll default this now. That's that's kind of helpful. It's kind of interesting, but the the real neat thing is this color scale, and um, what this does is it's going to change the color uh, based on the value that is there. So we're going to say the we want uh, the minimum to be red. We want um, the maximum value uh, to be green. And so we're going from green to red, uh, the midpoint based on percentile, sure. And we're going to make it yellow. So uh, here we're going from uh, red up to green and uh, while I was making those changes if you look over here uh, that's what's going on here it's slightly different color because it's all selected I'll go ahead and hit done and you'll see so uh, real quickly I'm able to get a feel for the data there you go I've, I can see that 10% uh, the green with the 80 and the 95 and then sort of the yellow orange uh, ones in the middle now this isn't a very large data set um, so that's uh, I could probably tell that just by looking at it, but if you can imagine if I had 20 or 30 rows and I want to get a real quick um, idea about where they were relative to each other, uh, this conditional formatting rules is a great way uh, to do that. There's a lot of other fun things you can do with conditional formatting. I'll let you explore on that on your own, but this is something that I found helpful for uh, getting a quick read on data um, other than charting. So anyway, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.